this is something new for the city of Wildemar. It's going to be an interesting thing for us. This will be the first time we actually swear in our police chief. And with that, I'm going to let our city clerk, who's in charge of this part of it, take it over. Police chief elect. <laughs> and if you will step forward. <clears throat> Okay, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Daniel M. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To uphold and defend. To uphold and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I bear true faith and allegiance. That I bear true faith and allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will. And that I will. Well and faithfully. Well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you, uh, members of the city council, Mr. Mayor, citizens of Wildemar. I appreciate and I'm humbled by this honor. I really am. I understand the importance of this position, and I do not take its responsibilities lightly. I, I promise you that. I've been with the Sheriff's Department for 21 years. This is my third return to the station here at Lake Elsinore that covers Wildemar, and uh, I'm glad to be back. I came here first in 2004, and uh, when I came here then, I was a detective, newly promoted detective, and I got to kind of feel like I was doing some good work here in the area, solving crimes and, and solving cases and doing my little part for the city of Baltimore and the surrounding area. I enjoyed myself and I did that for a little over a year and I was transferred out and over the years I got to kind of move up a couple ranks and found myself back at this area as a lieutenant. So I was here from 2010 to 2013 in an administrative capacity overseeing the areas around here including Wildemar and again I was kind of doing my part to now a bigger part, as I've learned over the years, there's a lot more to doing a good job than what I thought back in 2004. And uh, I really enjoyed it, but I truly did want to do my part to make this place better. And now that I'm back in the top seat as the uh, captain of the Lake Elsinore Station and your chief of police for the city of Wildemar, I'm excited. And uh, I'm going to continue on my mission to improve public safety for your city as well. So I want you guys to know that. Um, what I wanted to say was, in thinking about introducing yourself, a lot of people will say what their accolades are and their list of schools and things like that. I'm not going to bore you with that. If you guys want to talk with me about that afterwards, or we can do that, uh, you can Google a bio. I think what you would want to know is what I would want to know. What kind of leader am I getting in this guy? Who is this guy? And I'm going to tell you. First thing is you're going to get a leader that leads with honesty and integrity. I've done that my whole career. I need to get up. I need to look myself in the mirror in the morning. I've been able to do that, and I'm going to continue to do that. And I preach that to my staff as well. Number two, I believe in quality. What that means is everything you put out should be a quality product. For you guys, it's police services. So I want to put out a quality product for police services here in the city of Wildemar. I preach that to my guys as well and girls, and we're going to continue to do that for you here. Number three is I want you guys to know that I'm aware there's always room for improvement. I'm the kind of guy and the kind of leader that looks at operations and realizes there's always room for improvement. <coughs> we all have room for improvement, and we continually look at our operation and find ways to make it run more efficiently and better. And so I'm humble enough to look at that and realize if there's a way we can improve, I, I'll do that for you guys, for myself. And lastly, and probably most importantly, is you're going to get a partner with me. And what I mean by that is public safety is not all about the police. It's not all about the city officials, and it's not all about you guys. It's about all of us working together in partnerships. And so my philosophy is getting to under, everybody to understand we all have our limited roles, we have our, our limited resources, but together, when we understand that, we can work together to kind of tackle those problems. And so I've always approached my positions and my relationships with the community and with my family as kind of partnerships, as let's see how we can work together to make things better. So that's, in a nutshell, what you're getting with me. Again, I'm glad to be back. Very humbled, very proud, 
and I'm excited to join the team. So thank you very much for this opportunity.